If you are struggling to make your product simple and user-friendly, you are not alone. Our every second client comes with something like, user complain our product is too complicated. Make it simple to use. Hi, I'm Ilya, the founder of Elekin, product design agency for SaaS. And in this video, we'll go through eight tips that will help you to maintain simplicity in your product's design. Before figuring out how to create intuitive and clear interfaces, let's define what is simplicity. First of all, I want you to understand that there is no universal way to make your product simple. For example, most of us would agree that Apple products are famous for their simplicity. But imagine giving your iPhone to your granny who uses the phone with big buttons and has no experience interacting with a touchscreen. Would the iPhone be easy for her to use? Probably no. Does it mean that iPhones are not simple? No. It means that the definition of simplicity depends on the context and the target audience that is going to use the product. Next, it's important to say that simplicity doesn't equal minimalism. Just adding a lot of negative space, flat design elements, and big headlines won't make your product simple. Simplicity is about helping users reach their goals faster and easier with your product. So, making complex SaaS products look simple is a challenging task that requires a solid understanding of the users and the logic behind the product. And though I've told you that simplicity has no recipe. When our clients ask us to make their app simple, we at Elekin have several methods that help us to cope with this request. There are eight tips that will help you maintain simplicity in design. Tip number one, learn your target audience well. Discovering who your users are allows you to emphasize with their needs, goals, and pain points. This knowledge helps you prioritize features that truly matter to them and identify bottlenecks or areas where the design can be simplified. We have a dedicated video on UX research that dives deeper into the significance of user research and various methods for studying your users. The link in the description. Tip number two, create proper visual hierarchy. Visual hierarchy is the way elements are arranged and emphasized in design to show what's most important and guides users' focus. If it's done wrong, like on this screenshot, the interface looks cluttered and the user have no idea where to look next. When we redesigned the screen, we removed unnecessary elements and divided information into consistent blocks. Now now users can instantly prioritize what's important. Tip number three, use common design patterns. Each person that comes to your product has some previous experience that forms certain expectations about your app. Meeting those expectations makes users feel in control over your product and therefore it feels easier for them to use it. Apply common UX patterns and limit the number of creative design innovations. This way you help people adapt to the new interface quicker and focus on what matters most. For example, the three lines of hamburger menu you typically indicate that there are more options available in the clicking on it, while the plus icon shows us that you can add or create something new with its help. That's all because we saw similar patterns in many different apps before. Tip number four, pay attention to design consistency. When users find the same bottom design and placement across different screens, they can easily recognize and interact with it without having to relearn its purpose. And that leads to seamless and straightforward user experience. A good way to keep design standardized is to have a design system or UI kit, a centralized source of reusable design components, guidelines, and rules. That's why we always support our client's design with such a document. Here you can see a fragment of UI kit we made for Invali. It's a collection of colors, fonts, icons, inputs, and more we have used in their design. So next time Invali wants to add a new feature, they can use the kit to develop a design that fits the whole product. Tip number five, break complex tasks into smaller steps. Making any decision takes time and effort. Giving people too many options may altogether scare them off from your product. In psychology, this phenomenon is called choice overload. That's why I recommend limiting the choices you give users. But sometimes it's impossible to reduce the amount of information you need to include on the page. Otherwise, users won't get the full value of your product. In such situation, I would recommend you either to support quick decision-making by providing small tool tips or simplify complex tasks by splitting them into small chunks. At Elekin, we love using the wizard design pattern for this purpose. It helps us many times to make long processes simple and painless for users. Tip number six, make your design accessible. To understand the importance of accessibility in UX, think of the following. According to the World Health Organization, more than 1 billion people or 20% of the world's population live with a certain disability. Not to lose many potential 
potential customers just because your interface doesn't allow them to properly use your product. Ensure all the app elements are readable, visible, and understandable. We teach each of our designers to create design for all people, not just for those with perfect eyesight. Look at the icons of receivers we designed for a drone management platform. Even when all icons are the same color, users still are able to tell them apart thanks to their unique shapes. This way, people with low visual acuity or color blindness can easily distinguish them. Here's what these icons look like in the app's interface. Would you like me to create a dedicated video on design accessibility? Let me know in the comments and I can also provide you with a helpful checklist to assess your app's accessibility level. And we move to tip number seven, choose the correct data visualization method. As humans tend to analyze everything around them through visual means, representing data visually makes information easier to perceive, process, and retain. So learn to choose an appropriate form of data visualization and your users would be able to make a data-driven decision faster. For example, multi-line charts suit best to describe subtle variations in data, while a bullet chart does a great job of showing a significant indicator in comparison to a goal. And the final tip number eight, don't oversimplify things to the point of abstraction. While simplifying the interface by removing unnecessary elements is important, it's also crucial to understand that some aspects need to remain complex to preserve their value. As UX Magazine states in one of its articles, smartphone could be simpler without a camera, but they would be also less useful. And there you have it, eight actionable tips to guide you on your quest for a simplicity in design. Remember, simplicity is not about minimalism alone. It's about creating interfaces that effortlessly guide users toward their goals. By understanding your target audience, creating proper visual hierarchy, using common design patterns, paying attention to design consistency, breaking complex tasks into smaller steps, ensuring accessibility, choosing the right data visualization, and striking a balance between simplicity and functionality, you can create remarkable experiences that resonate with your users. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that it was useful. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next videos.